For today's installment, we will be focusing on Google Forms and how we can use Google Forms to create our assessment. Marami pong paggagamitan ng Google Forms. We can use Google Forms to have our polls or surveys at the beginning of the school year. We could also use Google Forms for registration and data collection. But for today's video, we'll be focusing on the use of Google Forms, transforming our traditional pen and paper assessments into a digital format. There certainly will be restrictions or limitations when we're using the digital platform, pero meron din naman siyang mga added features or bonus that we cannot do in the traditional setup. So let's start! This is the test that I have created. Uh, the text is followed by the series of questions. Meron tayong iba't ibang klase. I know that some of you will stick to one kind of format for the first part, but for us, because we have limited number of items, we mix those kinds of test questions. So, meron tayong short answers here. Meron din tayong uh, multiple choice here. You can have like a two-part question, completion of the table, and I also have here a matching type. Draw the lines linking the paragraphs below to the main ideas and language skills or grammar. So, how are we going to make this format into a Google form? In my Google Forms window, wala pa ako nagagawa. These are the templates that you can use if you want. Pero dahil masisimun tayo from scratch, you can just click blank. And it loads a blank form. Dahil ito ay say assessment for primary 6. So I have English 6. For example, unit, unit test 1. So yung title natin ay naandun. If you have a description for this test, you can also write a description here. So, for example, this is a quiz. Let's go to settings. And you can see there are three. We will look into that in a while, but because we're making it in a quiz, let's just click make a quiz. There are two tabs, actually two tabs, question tab and the responses tab. And then, Dito rin, makikita niyo yung total number of points na ginawa yung test. Para alam mo kung are you still on track with the 20 item unit test that you need to create. First question, students who are using the school email, madali po just to collect their email addresses. But still, I want them to, just in case I did not click that option, it will be better to be safe than sorry. I write here, I wanted to write your name and then this one will be a short answer. Okay, short answer type of question. And I will click require. Pag kinlik niyo yung require, ibig sabihin noon na hindi niya makiklik submit yung form na ito unless he or she has filled out the required parts. There is no answer key of course and there's no point here kasi it's just the name. Then if you have add another question here. The items that are required, makikita mo yung asterisk na red. And then I will also write here the class. It will be better na ikaw na mismo ang magbigay ng options for the class. Grade 6A. Pero yung A nila, small letter, mag-group siya sa mga A's na may small letter. Tapos may isa naman, 6A, pero yung A niya capitalized. Then mag-group siya dun sa letters na capitalized yung letter. Kasi nga, case sensitive. So, Better kung ikaw na mismo yung magdragay ng class ng bata. Set it as required. Let me click another one. Simula na tayo sa test construction. Makikita mo na yung aming test ay text-driven. Control C. And I will paste it here. Kung wala yung paragraphing ko. At napakahirap sa bata na tingnan natin kung pwede natin mag-space here. I am clicking space or enter. Ito yung mga restrictions na Google Forms. Ayan. So, ganyan siya. Makita mo na yung original ko ay naka superscript. So, makita mo na parang normal text na siya. So, what do I do? What I do is I made this into a PDF form just like this and I use my print screen. Yan, ito yung page mo. You just have to click print screen. Click mo yung portion na gusto mo. 
Burahin natin to. Let's use an add button here. Add image. Pwede ka mag-drag ng image. Ito mo na yung text mo ay according to your standard format. Na andun yung spacing, na andun yung mga superscripts mo for your paragraph numbers. If you want to add another, click add image. Diba? Maliwanag na maliwanag. Masyado siyang mahaba, diba? Makita nyo na kailangan mo mag-scroll and scroll and scroll. I will add a section here. Anong pagkakaiba na ginawa mong section na yan? Look at the preview. Kung sasagutan ng bata, nalagay ang pangalan mo ay A, and then my class is, yun ang sinasabi natin, na hindi sila makakamove to the next section. So, dapat sagutan nila. Ayan na siya. So, I have the reading comprehension. Ito yung pakikita ng studio. Let's get back. Click mo yung last. Ayan. Tapos, saka ka mag-add button para sa sa ilalim. My first question is, why are beavers considered excellent workers? And then, the number of points that I have is this. Copy, control C, and then go to your here, and control D. Kailangan mong baguhin into a short answer. Always set it as required. Click the answer key. Mark all other answers incorrect. Pag kinlik mo yan, ang wala yung lagi lang nila, build home, mamamark wrong, or protect territories. Mark wrong already kasi exactly the same dapat yung nasa key. So, hindi ko siya tinitik. And then, you indicate the number of points. You can either type or you can use the up and down arrows here. Whichever is convenient for you. And then, click done. And you can also add multiple choice questions. Ang smart ng application at to kasi from short answer nakita niya na from my statement it has to so it has to be check boxes so again mark it required. Nakita mo na when you paste it everything at once at alin na siya. Then you go for enter key again. Two items have been marked correctly for you to earn two points. An extracted substance from the beaver and then tinik niya excessive hunting, it will still be marked zero points. So, kaya yung nalagay ko after manual review, hindi ko agad binibigay, nire-release yung scores ng mga bata na mark na. Add another question. This one, a two-part question. Lahat ng possible uh, ways to write kit, ilagay mo kasi imamark nilang answer na wrong. When you want to write a hint, you just click here, description. Para makita ng bata na kailangan lowercase lang sila sasake. And then mark it again as required. And then add, because that's 3A, 3B. Another type of question that we have is completing the table. Okay, you can have it short answer, but you can also have it as a table. What I do is I use print screen. And this is, will be question number four, for example. Complete the table below. As part of my question, I have an image. That's it. It's a part of the question. So, I pwede mo siyang paragraph. Description. Let's have another one. And this one is a matching type. Do a little bit of revision. Box grid. Ano yung check box grid? Tigyan mo na natin siya ng table here. You can have it like this so the there's a visual representation. And then you could also copy paste that.
and turkey. Kunwari lang, one, two, three, four. That those are the answer. And then you click by row, meron kang point system. Then that another about language. So I will add a section. Add a section and then write. I know classes. So you can have so you can have a multiple choice. And then here you got limit one response to one column. Sa lang per column hindi ka pwedeng umulit. Pwede mo siyang gamitin dito. Hindi naman siya uulit. Ganito na yung itsura niya. It's the answer key. Dahil umulit ka ng compound sentence dito, huwag mo i-tick yung limit to one response per column. Excited ka ba makita? Ano ba itsura ng test natin? Let's look at the preview button. Ito yung ating tanong. Text A. And then I have to match. Pwede ko na tanggalin yung table. It's up to you. Next. Matandaan nyo na sinaparate ko yung language skill a different section. So dapat lalabas siya next. Yung uh, language skills different section. And then click submit. Pagka-submit mo yung bata, makikita niya yung the response has been recorded. One of you, your score. Pwede mo makita yung score. Nasa setting din yan ng teacher. Kung gusto nyo ipakita agad yung score. Alimita ni Nii muna ito pinapakita. Paano natin ito tweet? So, it will not appear like that. Let's explore the setting. Click the collect email address. Have to limit it into one response. Kung hindi, magiging trial and error ang test mo. Can edit after submit. Do not tick it. The other one is see summary charts and text responses. Ano yung response received? Respondents can receive a copy of their responses. Do not take that, especially when you have requests. Anyway, we will discuss mo naman ito. Okay? Now, next, quizzes. Anong meron sa presentation? Show the progress bar. Kung may mga sections ka, section A, reading comprehension, section B is language skills. Maganda na itik mo yung show progress bar. And then, if you want to shuffle question order, I suggest not to click this unless Wala kang mga two-part questions. Your confirmation message. You want to add a different uh, confirmation message. And then, this is the important part. Like, release grade. And nakita agad na 13 over 16 ako. Pero remember, yung three points na hindi ko nakuha ay dahil hindi naman nilag na ni teacher ng answers yung answer key. So, paano ko siya itatama? Immediately after each submission, you use later after manual review. Pwede nga rin pwede gamitin or after each submission. If the answers are exact and yung mga low risk kind of assessments, formative assessments, hover your mouse here and it will explain to you what it does. So, missed question. The respondent can see, yung mga bata can see yung missed question nila. I would rather untick this. Ano ba to? Show the correct answer for each question after grades are released. Pwede mo kasi yung i-release yung grade after a manual review. And point value, show total points and points received for each question. This is my suggestion. Tingnan natin, if we're going to answer this again, Makita mo na iba na yung aking confirmation message. Wala na rin yung nakong score. Let's close it. What will happen now sa teacher after you ask the kids to answer mo na lahat ng data na kailangan? Mayroon tayong at tatlong tab. Summary. Summary ng lahat na kumuha ng test. And then summary per question. And this one is the answer of each individual. Ito yung score ni Lisa Creates in the team. 3 over 16, but it's not yet released. So, kanina, remember, release after manual review. When you have reviewed it, you can just click release scores. And then the summary of all, so, nasaan yung common mistake? Per question, Get it? 
But if one of them is missed out, then I should go into pretty emotional mind and give one If you want to see the answer of each individual, you can also have first the person with is A and then see her or his answer. You can also download the video or create a spreadsheet for this. If you have lots of students, you can have a spreadsheet and it will open and you can have the spreadsheet. But my Ramita class in Tinuturuan and Pedi Mushang filter due to my Para malimit niyo kung gaano katagal sagutan ng mga bata yung form, we already said that you can manually turn on and off accepting or not accepting responses. Pero who has time to do this manually? To set the form accept or do not accept. You can do this add-ons, go to add-ons, and then it brings you here. Use the form limiter and users. So you can install the add-on. Continue. So you can Allow. Okay. Form limiter has been installed. Let's close this. Na install mo na siya. Meron ka ng icon na password. Tapos dito na add. Click form limiter. Then you can set a limit. What kind of limits can you set? One is by date and time, the number of form responses, and then the value. If the person still goes to this link, makita niya na this form is no longer accepting responses. And then just click save. And that's it for our tutorial today. I hope that you learned something. Thank you everyone for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell button.